friction forces. So we said that friction forces act against the motion along a surface that's providing the, the friction. This is one of the few times in this class where I'm not really going to be able to derive something for you because friction comes, um, it's, a, it's a microscopic phenomenon. Uh, it's actually a topic of quite a bit of research. And it's really from experiment that we know there are two main kinds if you're sliding along a surface. There's static friction. And that's the kind of friction that keeps something from sliding with respect to the surface. And there's kinetic friction, which is the friction that is um, working against the motion as something sliding along a surface. So static friction is a, is a response force in the sense that its magnitude is whatever it needs to be. up to a maximum. Kinetic friction is a little easier. It has just a value, um, and it has, um, yeah, it has a value. And it turns out that both of these numbers, the maximum of the static friction and the constant of the kinetic friction, are proportional to the normal force. So friction occurs because there is a force perpendicular to the surface, um, and due to the nature of the surface and the object, um, there is a force between them. So in other words, for a free body diagram, you might have a normal force and a friction force. So F normal and F friction. Um, in the case of kinetic friction, and again, there's a normal force and a friction force. And in one case, the acceleration is zero. In fact, the velocity is zero. And in the other case, the velocity is moving in the other direction. But these numbers, the maximum of static friction and the kinetic friction is equal to some number you look up in a table, two numbers actually, one for the static friction and one for the kinetic friction that depends on the material, times the normal force. Yeah, that's it. So if you're sliding on uh, ice, it's different than sliding on wood, which is different than sliding on concrete, and you can look up these numbers in a table. And what you will find from observation is that typically mu s is greater than mu k. But what we'll use here are these two equations. Pretty straightforward.